Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 20. This is Problem 20. It says in the graph below, the triangle PQR is reflected across the x-axis to produce P prime, Q prime, R prime. What are the coordinates of Q prime? So we have a graph, we have Q, P, and R that form a triangle. So just to, you know, make it show up a little bit, we've got that triangle that I didn't read, Q, P, R. And they said it's reflected across the x-axis, so the x is the horizontal, or side side y is the vertical or up and down. So if you reflect it across the x or across the horizontal, q comes down here and it becomes q prime. The r comes down here, becomes r prime. And then the p, p prime. And what you have is a triangle that's a reflection. So again, as the name implies, it looks like it's a reflected in a mirror. Now, they're, really, they're not even interested in the whole triangle. The question is, what are the coordinates of Q prime? Well, first, how did we get to Q? What are the coordinates of Q? And then we'll, from there, we'll figure out the coordinates of the reflection, the Q prime. So the coordinates mean how far do you go to the side first, and then how far up. So the first position, the x measure, is 0 0.4. I'll just put 0.4 so I can fit it in the box. And then how far up did I go? I went up 1. And again, starting from the 0 point, I went over 0.4 on my number scale here and then up 1. So now Q prime, if it's a reflection, I still go over 0.4 to get to Q prime, but now I go down 1 if it's reflected across the horizontal. So 0.4 down one or minus one. Now as I look at my list of four options, that is one of the options. Again, in the options they have the zero listed first. A is one, three, that's not it. But the next one down, 0 0.4 positive for the x coordinate, negative one for the y coordinate, that is a match for what we have. So the answer to problem 20 is option B.